Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial on how to draw the brachial plexus in five minutes or less. Uh, disclaimer, these slides are all borrowed from these individuals down here. I'm just going to go ahead and narrate it because I remember from my time when I was trying to study the brachial plexus, it is really quite daunting. Number one, you're going to draw two arrows to the right with inverted heads, just as you can see here. Next, we're going to draw another arrow right in between. Then, you can actually connect the end here with a large W, okay? This W, together with these two ends, okay, is going to resemble your terminal branches. Here we draw an X. Now, you convert that X into a Y, because we have divisions in the brachial plexus too. Then we add C5, 6, 7, 8, and T1, those are the roots, okay? So we can go ahead and throw on some labels, okay? I have a silly mnemonic how I can remember this. I just call this, um, racks. Take it or leave it, yeah. I once read some science fiction novel and there was some evil lord called something like um, racks. That works well for me because if we go U, M, M, C, R, A, X, Probably um rex, yeah, or um rex. Anyway, that's how I can remember some of the terminal branches. Ulnar, median, musculocutaneous, radial, and axillary nerves. So this diagram will include the main, uh, include the main branches of your brachial plexus, okay? Uh, and the proper connections. But let's make this a little bit more detailed. First of all, remember there's this one nerve, yeah? From C5, C6, and C7, you would wing your way to heaven. That is the long thoracic nerve that innervates your serratus anterior. So let's draw that in here. Yeah. You'll see it lies directly on the surface of the serratus anterior, and which also makes it more vulnerable to injury. I'm going to add in three headless arrows on top. Okay, Not three headless arrows. If we add in the um, labels for them, is dorsal scapular, suprascapular, and lateral pectoral nerve. Okay. In this case, we've actually basically already wrapped up what we need for the lateral cord, which means we have our lateral pectoral, the musculocutaneous, and the medial contribution to the median nerve, okay? Because this here is your lateral cord, all right? So you could use the mnemonic, Lucy loves me, yeah? Lucy, oops, Lucy loves me, and that actually stands for, Lucy stands for lateral pectoral, loves stands for the medial contribution, uh, sorry, the lateral contribution to the median nerve, and me stands for the musculocutaneous nerve. Next we're going to work a little bit on the posterior cord, which is this one, post, okay, let's label these arrows, there are these three headless arrows, and that is the SS for the subscapular, thoracodorsal, and, well, actually, upper subscapular, thoracodorsal, and lower subscapular, okay? The thoracodorsal can actually also be called the middle subscapular nerve. Don't forget about that, okay? Thoracodorsal goes to the latissimus dorsi. Now we add in three final uh, arrows to the bottom, yeah? So this would be, if that's the lateral cord, that is the posterior cord, that's the medial cord, okay? And then let's drop some labels on those. That would be the medial pectoral, the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm, and the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. So medial pectoral, medial brachial cutaneous, and medial antibrachial cutaneous, okay? Good. Then we can put in our labels for roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and terminal branches, right? Now we have it all together. We have our upper, middle, and lower trunks. We have roots C5 through T1. We have our anterior and posterior divisions. We have our cords, most important, and our terminal branches. If you really want to, you can also add in this nerve, the nerve to subclavius, but for most people, if you're in medical school or PA school or anything else, it's not really going to be that important. And 
this is your complete diagram, okay? So if you want to recap some useful mnemonics, for the lateral chord, we had it was Lucy loves me. So a lateral chord is Lucy loves, is lateral pictorial, me is musculocutaneous nerve, and actually you could say, well, Lucy loves me, could be lateral pectoral, and the lateral contribution to the median nerve, and musculocutaneous. In that case, the posterior chord would be ultra, U, L, T, R, A, okay? That would be the upper subscapular, the lower subscapular, thoracodorsal, radial, and axillary. And then the medial chord would be these, this, and this. So one mnemonic we can use here is most medical men use morphine. Okay, stands for most medial pectoral medical men, medial brachial and medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve use ulnar morphine is the medial contribution of the median nerve and that's it